Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming back to watch another recipe from me. Today I made a triple layer trifle, and this is one of the best desserts I have ever made in my life. I love it so much. I think it's so delicious. I hope you try it out. Please make this if you can find these ingredients. Especially if you're a cherry lover, you will not be disappointed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the recipe. Okay, so to make this trifle, you are going to need some specialty items. You're going to need some panettone, powdered sugar, heavy cream, mascarpone cheese. We're gonna make an almond and vanilla simple syrup. And these magnificent amarena cherries that are like the star of the show from Trader Joe's. And lastly, you'll need some sort of garnish for the top. I'm choosing to use a varied assortment of dried fruits that I'll chop up and some jumbo raisins that I also got from Trader Joe's that I sliced. And the reason I chose to use these as a garnish is because traditionally panettone does have candied fruit and raisins inside. Whew, that was a long intro. All right, let's get into the recipe. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and make the simple syrup. To do that, you'll need to add equal parts water and sugar, bring it to a low simmer and add in some vanilla extract and almond extract. As usual, I'll have all of the exact measurements listed at my website below. When the simple syrup is complete, what you'll need to do is just make sure the sugar dissolves before you remove it from the heat. And just make sure you let the liquid cool before adding it to the bread. Next, we're gonna make a sweet cream to put in between the layers of panettone and cherries. You'll want to start by mixing the heavy cream and the powdered sugar together in an electric mixer until the cream is whipped up, but it's still really soft, not stiff peaks. You want it to be a little bit runny before you add the mascarpone cheese. Once that's done, you can go ahead and add in the mascarpone and whip it until the cream is just thick enough to hold its shape. You have to be really careful here because if you overmix it, it can get over whipped and lumpy really quickly. Next, it's the star of the show. These beautiful, dark, rich, and tart amarena cherries counteract the sweetness of the rest of the ingredients in the best way. What I did here was remove the liquid and put it to the side because I'm gonna use it again in just a minute. Then I'll give the cherries a rough chop after removing the stems. Once that's complete, go ahead and add those chopped cherries back into that liquid that was removed. Now for the panettone. You'll want to slice the bread into even slices all the way across. I'm slicing them into about one inch slices, maybe a little more. After that, lay out all of the pieces of bread and brush on the simple syrup on all of the pieces of bread. Don't forget about those corners, the crust. You want every inch to be filled with simple syrup. Once you've done one side, gently flip the slices over and coat the other side. So you can use about half of the syrup on one side of the slices and the other half on the next side. Once you've done that, you'll wanna go ahead and cube each slice of bread. So I'm just taking my knife and running it all the way through. Okay, let the layering begin. To begin, you wanna make sure you layer each piece of bread around the edge or the rim of your trifle dish first or whatever dish you're using. This is so you can clearly see the layers through your dish. Then you can go ahead and pile on some of that sweet cream and use a spatula to kind of even out the layers. Once that's done, Spoon over the cherry mixture on top of the cream. Then you'll just repeat the layers. So you'll end up with two layers, bread, cream, cherries, bread, cream, cherries. Okay, so here's the secret. I've made this recipe a few times. The first time I didn't really like the way it looked, so I made it again and changed the dish I put it in. That's what you see here. So if you noticed that my dish was circular at first and then it became a square, you are absolutely right. 
Also, the first time I used a trifle bowl and the second time around, I am not using a trifle bowl, just a really large glass bowl. Okay, so after you've done the layers, go ahead and drizzle on the remaining cherry mixture and then you can garnish with those candied and dried fruits. And at this point, you've made it to the finish line. Now, this dish is best enjoyed when it's fresh. So make this and serve it. If you do wanna make it ahead of time, I suggest omitting the cherries from the layers and leaving them in a bowl on the side. And then you can let your guests scoop out their trifle and put their cherries on top. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Again, you can click on the link in the description box and it'll take you right to the recipe where you can find all of the exact measurements. Thanks for watching. I'm on Pinterest and Facebook and Instagram. Please follow, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Also, visit my website at handychefblog.com.